Now that they're winning games, that's kind of taking precedent over the city. Back, there was a time where, back when the Eagles started two and five, there was a time where this season was just about assessing Jalen Hurts. It wasn't about a playoff run. Now the Eagles are in position for a possible playoff run, and that notion is starting to change. And Coach Sirianni is somehow getting Coach of the Year consideration. Yeah, well, so if you look back at the beginning of 2021, we had a lot of drama come out of 2020. Obviously, pandemic aside, but with the whole Carson Wentz, Jalen Hurts, and then they started 2021 with a loss on January 3rd to the Washington football team. They ended last season 4-11-1. So I don't think things could have gotten much worse than we were at this point last year. But like you said, you got Devontae Smith in the draft. They hired Nick Sirianni. They did some things to try to utilize the run and saw what worked for him throughout the season. So you did start this 2021 season with like, a, oh, this is a rebuilding year. Like we can't invest ourselves too much. And then now it's just, we have a chance. You yeah. need to win. Hey, optimism <laughs> has turned into excitement over over the last few weeks. So like I mentioned prior, starting the season two and five and Jalen Hurts, you know, the, the talk was starting to say Jalen can't. Uh, he's not a good passer. He's not going to develop. We need to draft Kent Pickett or Sam Howell or whoever the talents are going to be. But now they're on a six and two stretch here. Now, granted, we've beaten quarterbacks like Jake Fromm and Garrett Gilbert and Trevor Simeon and those guys. But you beat the guys that are in front Hall of, of Famers. Hall of Famers. They will surely be, be, be Hall of Famers. Jake Fromm State Farm is what we were is what we were calling him. Uh, but yeah, so now Coach Sirianni has seemingly looked like he can be an NFL head coach. And that's not something a lot of people were saying after a lot was made of his press conferences early on in the season. After this 2021 season so far, like, well, not after, but what we've seen so far, do you think it's more realistic that Sirianni would have a longer career in Philadelphia than Jalen Hurts? Do you think they kind of coincide? What do you think about that? Yeah, that was a big talk uh, during the season was, are they right for each other? Maybe Hurts is a good quarterback. Maybe Sirianni is a good coach. Maybe, maybe this marriage isn't going to work out. That's why I was so shocked the Eagles moved on from Peterson as well as Carson Wentz. Like, you usually pick one or the other, not get not clean house <laughs> with both, and leave your GM, who is the reason for a lot of these issues. Uh, but now it looks like Jalen Hurts, as well as Nick Sirianni, are going to be afforded further opportunities in Philadelphia. It makes sense at this point for Jalen Hurts to, uh, to be given another year and move forward with their chest of assets, load up on the defense, similarly to how Dallas did last year, maybe get another veteran receiver in here, opposite Devontae Smith, and give Jalen Hurts the keys for another season and see if he can truly develop into that Russell Wilson-esque type player everybody wants him to be. Hopefully. But it is interesting to see, because if the season ended right now, the Eagles would have a playoff berth. They'd get that final NFC wild card spot. Correct. So do you think, like, what are you, what do you expect the fans to do? Because we did say that there weren't any expectations going into this year. But then, obviously, we can't help but care. So do you think Philadelphia will be, like, burn it down if they make the playoffs and then lose that first round? And if it is bad? Well, it's funny because the line on Park Sportsbook prior to the season was six and a half wins. I always thought that was too low. Uh, but everybody Agreed, was telling yeah. me that's, uh, you know, it's a rookie head coach, rookie coordinators, uh, second year quarterback. You know, there's, there's going to be trying times. Uh, so now they're sitting here at eight wins already surpassed that line. And I always said that a playoff berth was my, a wild card berth was was, you know, a good season for the Eagles mm -hmm. if they were to make it. And the way the Eagles play smash my football nowadays, rushing for over 130 yards over the last seven games, that's the kind of playoff style of football that succeeds in the NFL, especially with the NFC. Uh, Green Bay aside, nobody looks like locks. Cardinals are falling off. Uh, Bucks, you know, they're losing everybody. Godwin and all their linebackers, yeah. uh, all of them are hurt. So if, if anybody can make a run in the NFC <laughs> in the playoffs, not saying we should expect it, but the Eagles are, are well suited. You don't need Jalen Hurts to be special to win a playoff game. He can throw two picks and you can still win the game. I think that's what makes the Eagles dangerous. Yeah, I think that's what's most exciting too is this offense with Jalen Hurts, assuming that he'll be back next year and he should be, he's the perfect placeholder. Even if he doesn't pan out to the potential that everybody wants him to be, that Russell Wilson-esque kind of quarterback, mm -hmm. he's still good enough to be a placeholder and the offense around him is good enough to be enough. <laughs> right, right. And that's why and that's why I think Howie now we're not Howie apologist by any means. No, you know? yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think he did a good job in creating a roster around Jalen Hurts so that you can properly assess him moving forward by getting guys like Steven Nelson and uh, you know drafting Devontae Smith. You have a good roster around Jalen Hurts so that you can accurately assess him moving forward. That's why Minshew wasn't given the keys mm -hmm. regardless of his performance 
and he should be the starter in 2022. And if all else fails, you got Bryce Young coming out and all these other things. No people are wooed by Russell and Aaron Rodgers and, and the draft class coming out. But Hertz looks like that he can potentially be the QB of the future if, you know, at the very least in 2022. One thing that does concern me looking at their potential wild card berth is the fact that game after game after game, these last three weeks, they've had such slow starts. And it's it's worked out for them. I mean, they ended up getting the win. So it's kind of the thing where like people like me are like picking it apart and they're like, why are you mad? We won 34 to 10, blah, blah, blah. But to me, it's concerning because if you don't do go to the playoffs, yeah, it doesn't really matter if they win, but you can't expect to play a good team, a playoff team that actually deserves to be there and start slow because there's going to be no comeback, right? So how concerning is that to you, the slow starts recently? Yeah, it's a it's a reasonable concern, Sam, especially when you look at the quarterbacks we faced. We mentioned earlier the, uh, the third and fourth stringers <laughs> the Eagles have been playing. So when you were playing guys that belong in the playoffs, when you're playing guys like Aaron Rodgers, and the Cowboys as good as they've been like they're not gonna you get down in the first 20 minutes of that game you can't you can't dig early holes in the playoffs so it's definitely concerning they're going to have to figure out why they're getting out to slow starts you can't do the mistakes that the Eagles have been doing with the fumbles and Jalen Hurts surely has to do a better job of taking care of the football um, but if they can tie it all together and if they can like how do I how, how do I put it? If they play their first halves like they do their yes. second halves, then then they'll be a force in the playoffs and for the foreseeable future when they get their roster constructed properly. Now, real quick before we go, what is you already said that you would add key pieces to this defense. Mm -hmm. So if we get those three, well, we have those three draft picks in the first round. What area specifically would you target right off the top of your head? Yeah, well, of course, linebacker comes to mind. Oh, yes. But this, this, is how I, this is how I do that. That's a, that's a whole Is it going to happen? That's a whole other conversation. You look at Christian Harris from Alabama. He's a guy you can plug and play. I know we're all enamored with Micah Parsons right now, and everybody's wondering, did we make the right pick and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, but you think of linebacker, and you think of edge rusher. We're not getting yeah. any younger there. Brandon Graham, uh, who's hurt now. How effective is he going to be? Derek Barnett more than likely won't be extended after this year. Uh, I think edge rusher and linebacker are two areas of concern the Eagles should probably address in the offseason. I love it. Thanks for talking some Eagles with me and recapping how the Eagles have somewhat impressed us we'll in 2021. we about a playoff win next time. Next time. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so now we wrapped up the Eagles in 2021. Let's go to the Philadelphia Flyers with Jason Martinez.